In 2023, computers are a core part of our lives. Many things we used to do in person are now done at least partially through a computer. From online shopping, to getting food, socializing, handling financial transactions, and much more. I could honestly fill this entire video just talking about things that we use computers for, but that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is APIs and API wrappers, or in other words, how computers can interact with online applications. But before we can talk about that, we need to talk briefly about how humans interact with online applications. Humans often interact with online applications through a user interface, or UI. They are presented with buttons and text boxes as a way to provide input to the application. This works pretty well for a human, as our primary method of interacting with computers is through our fingers. Clicking, typing, tapping, we're pretty great at it. But what if we wanted a computer to use an application? A computer doesn't have fingers. Even if it did, it wouldn't know how to use a keyboard or a mouse. Maybe there's some way we could let the computer control the mouse cursor to interact with the website. In reality, there's a much easier solution. The API. Things like the mouse pointer and text entry are bridges for humans to interact with computers. But a computer is already a computer so it doesn't need human interface devices. It can speak with applications directly. API stands for Application Programming Interface. It is a way for a computer program to interact with an application in a way that is much more convenient for the computer than using a keyboard and mouse. Here's how it works. First, we have a web server. This is the same computer that provides web pages to users. Next, we have the client. This is the computer program that's going to interact with the web application. The client formats an HTTP request and sends it to the server. Along with the request, the server also receives the authentication key of the client. This is a special number the organizations behind the server and the client have exchanged beforehand. This number is to identify the client for the server. Since some web applications contain sensitive information, we don't want an unauthorized user to be able to access it. Finally, the server formats a response and sends it back to the client. Now this is a super efficient way for computers and applications to communicate, but it's not the easiest way for humans to program a computer to interact with applications. That's where API wrappers come in. An API wrapper is a library with objects and functions that encapsulate the API into an easy to use package. This is why it's called a wrapper. The same API calls are still happening on the inside, but the programmer using the wrapper never has to know. Instead of formatting strings and parsing responses, the programmer simply has to create instances of the objects and call their functions. This can make programming an online bot super simple. Here is an incredibly simple reply bot using the Reddit API wrapper for Python. It simply searches all of the comments on a specific subreddit for a particular phrase. Then when it finds that phrase, it replies with a silly response. While this is a trivial example of the use of an API wrapper, it demonstrates their simplicity. So who makes these API wrappers? Sometimes it's the same people who make the API, as is the case for the popular online chat service Slack. This API has several wrappers for different languages that are officially made and supported by the employees of the company. However, unlike APIs, sometimes API wrappers are not made by the owners of the web application. Such is the case with the API wrapper for another popular online chat service, Discord. One of the more popular API wrappers for this application is discord.py, a wrapper written in and for Python. It was not made by the company behind Discord, but by this person. His API wrapper is used in nearly 49,000 projects currently on GitHub. With APIs and API wrappers, just about anyone can write programs to interact with online applications. With the endless possibilities for creativity and innovation, the sky is the limit. 